The anonymous caller didn't mince their words as they hit out at the BBC on the programme. The woman was heard saying, For goodness sake, every time I put the telly on, there's this rubbishy lot of stuff about Glastonbury. It's not news. You've got loads of programmes about it, it's all through the news. She went on to say, It looks like an absolute hellhole with a lot of people who can't string two words together. They can't string two musical notes together. The viewer continued, It's awful, we don't want to know about it. Thank you so much. She finished off her call, saying simply, Get it off. The phone call was shared on today's July 2nd edition of Newswatch on BBC Breakfast with presenter Samira Ahmed explaining how both Glastonbury and Wimbledon had resulted in some disruption to the TV schedules and led to a break in normal programming. Ahmed explained, some doubted whether they deserved the slots they were given on news bulletins. The program then played a recording from Terry Pearson, who addressed the BBC Director General, saying, Can we please have our news back Mr Davy? With main British Wimbledon hopes, Murray and Radicanu out can you please now reduce time taken in bulletins to enable news coverage of important events. The host added, Meanwhile, it's clear that this anonymous caller to our phone lines is not a Glastonbury fan before the Glastonbury call was aired. A highlight of this year's Glastonbury Festival was a performance from Sir Paul McCartney, who was the oldest person to headline the Pyramid stage at 80. Sir Paul even duetted with his late fellow Beatles band member John Lennon in a moving performance. This year's BBC coverage of the annual festival at Worthy Farm and Wimbledon disrupt shows including EastEnders will be on other channels. The BBC soap ended up on BBC Two while tennis took precedence on the broadcaster's premium channel.